This is Mark Lacey of the New York Times reporting from Port-au-Prince. I just had an opportunity to speak to the first lady of Haiti, Elizabeth Preval. She's U.S. educated. She and her husband have been hard to reach in the week since this earthquake. She said that the Preval family's home was destroyed as they were walking into it. They were almost caught in something. She said, she said they've been staying in the front yard of the house. She described how her family, the president and herself and the siblings, are as traumatized as the rest of the country. She said that the government of Haiti is still in place despite the fact that the palace is gone, that many government buildings are gone. And she described Haiti as a country that still has functioning government, but one that needs a great deal of outside assistance. That foreign aid is very visible here. It's coming in on trucks and planes, and you can see it in the streets. There's still a, a big complaint, though, among many of the suffering people here that they're not yet receiving the aid and that the, the need is so great that, that the amount of assistance that's coming in still has not reached many, many people. Haiti is still very much a desperate country, and there's still a great deal of concern how long people are going to be patient and how long people are going to wait and if you talk to people on the street, they're very, very frustrated with the fact that they see the planes coming in, but they're not getting the food and water themselves. As for how many people have died in this earthquake, it's really anyone's guess at this point. We will now take this opportunity to remove the flags on these coffins, and they will be presented to Mr. Ben Kimmel. We have heard the figure of 200,000, but there's been figures all over the map. The first lady who I just spoke to said she has no idea what the official figure is. She's heard the same estimate. And in Haiti, it's tough to get reliable statistics on anything. And in a disaster this massive, with bodies being buried in mass graves, with a lot of dead bodies not still found, it, it's really, really tough to give an accurate figure. But the scale of this is huge. It's going to be one of the biggest natural disasters ever, and there's no doubt about that. But as for how many people exactly died, we on the ground here just don't know.